What's up guys, James here from Seekerhost. Today we're going to be going over how you can add ads from Google AdSense onto your website without having to use the auto ads and ruin the display of your website. As many of you might know, if you have used auto ads, it does tend to put them literally anywhere. We're talking between the menus, between button selections, and generally the most annoying places. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be adding by ad unit. This means that we're going to make the ad ourselves, so we're going to choose what we want to show, and then we're going to physically put it on our site exactly where we want to. So first thing first if you do have auto ads I would suggest switching this off unless you do also want to have auto ads and if you do have any page exclusions just come over to the little edit pencil over here make sure that you take any pages off your excluded pages if you are going to be putting them manually next up what we're going to do is we're going to do rather than by site we're going to be coming to by ad unit and here we're going to go through the different display types first of all is your display ads this is a good all around and will work on many different areas. In feed ads, this is great for matching the look of your website and to fit in between posts and listings. Native, which is great to use actually in the post itself between the writing and multiplex ads which will show you a variety of ads in one block. As you can see here I've got a list that I've already made and the way to do this is by actually clicking on the type that you want. Let's start first with display ads. As you can see it's going to give you a little display of the ad itself. You can try it square, horizontal or vertical as well. As you can see the other options are responsive so this will actually move to the screen size so if it's a mobile, a desktop, a laptop it will change accordingly. If you do want it fixed you can also select fix and put the definite width and height. This of course might cause you problems if somebody's viewing this on a mobile however you can fix this by making it responsive with a lamentor to not show on a mobile however for ease of use we're going to go for responsive so it will fit on any screen now the way that i recommend doing this is choosing each different type so for instance i've got here a square responsive ad type so i'd recommend typing that name in to save for the actual type of ad because you might want to use this multiple times so for instance if you want to use a square ad you will continuously use the code that it gives you here same as horizontal same as vertical once you're done click create as you can see here i've got a square responsive ad which i've saved right here and that's not going to change i can use this as many times as i want the same as i've also created a responsive horizontal and a responsive vertical depending on where i want to put the ad we're going to skip in feed ad it's a little bit more complicated not too much more complicated if we go on to here it's simply going to ask you for the url and whether it's for mobile or desktop you're going to then scan the page and add it this is the recommended style from Google. You can also create the ad style manually by choosing the type of ad that you want. And much like the same way, we're going to follow how we done the last one. So we're going to add an ad name unit. So can we remember, this is a reference for ourselves, what type of font, background colors, padding, border size. And you can also resize the width by dragging this like that. Next up, we have the in article ads. Again, a very easy, uh, much like the last one, we're going to add to the ad name unit. You can see what the ad's going to look like. And as you can see, this works really well within written content. Again, you can drag the cursor over here. Some blogs might be really small some blogs might be full width so change accordingly same as you can change the style title description background once you're finished save and get the code once you do save they will all be saved on your list here now down to the last one which is the multiplex ads now i quite like this one because it actually shows a variety of ads in one area much like before we can name the unit i would recommend naming this something for your reference so you remember what it is so for instance if we're going to do horizontal and we're going to do responsive i'm going to put responsive horizontal multiplex design choose your font text color background and then create once you're done so now that you've got the ads that you've actually created the ones that you want to use you can find them all down in your list and as you can see i've also marked these so whether i want to put a multiplex ad which is responsive and horizontal a square responsive ad for display ads or anything else now to actually get the code for these which is going to be what we're going to do next is you're going to come over this little symbol over here which is get code if you want to edit it of course come to the edit button you can also see the reports of this or select more to archive. So next, let's go to your website and find out where we want to put it. As you can see on my homepage, I've actually kept mine within certain borders. And this is the benefit of putting your ads places that you want them to go. They will fit nicely and look much better. So for this, I'm going to choose a blog that I've got up already, and I'm going to choose where to put it. This will work the same for pages and for blogs. And it's very simple. As previously mentioned, the ads that we've chosen, we can then get the code for. So I'm going to want to put a responsive horizontal ad onto some of the blog posts. I'm going to click get code and I'm going to copy the snippet and then return back to the place that you want to add the ad. Now this is extremely simple. You're going to choose exactly where you want to put it. I'm going to show you an Elementor as well. So let's say if I want my ad right there, we're going to go to add block. We're going to go to custom HTML and we are simply going to paste the code into there. Click preview and you should be able to get a preview. Sometimes it doesn't preview well or it has these little bars, but usually when it's live, it looks much better. Now let's say we wanted to use our two square ads. We can put two square ads next to each other by choosing columns. Choose two different columns like that. We're going to go for custom HTML again. This time I'm going to look for my square response responsive ad because I know that it's a square shape. So again, we're going to click get code. We're going to go to copy code snippet. 
We're going to paste the code into this section over here and then click preview. Perfect. So that's one of the ads loaded there. We can also go ahead and do the same thing over here. And now we have two separate ads next to each other that are square. Now let's take a look at the multiplex ads. I've added one on here so we can check out the multiplex ads. Again, I do think this worked quite well because they have a different or varied amount of ads on there. So a bigger selection for whoever's visiting. Again, let's go to get code, copy over the code, and again, plus a little plus sign, go to custom HTML, insert the custom HTML, and then click preview. There we go, multiplex ads all up in exactly where we want them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and update this and let's go check out a different page using Elementor. One of the best things about adding ads by ad unit is the fact that you can put it wherever you want and you can be very specific. For instance, I want my ad to fit within a picture so the picture is always covering it. You can do this easily by creating a section, going over to style and adding a background to that section. And again, we're gonna grab our HTML block and we're gonna add it within this section. To make this definitely fit within the background, I'm also gonna add a spacer on the top and the bottom, so no matter how big the ad is, there will be space on the top and bottom to see the background picture. Next up, we're gonna choose the type of ad that we want to show. I'm gonna show a responsive horizontal ad. So we're gonna go get the code, come back over to your page, and then paste the code in. Now let's just go ahead and update. Obviously at the moment, it's just gonna show as yellow, but that is where the ad is gonna show. Sometimes it will show it in preview, sometimes it won't. Making sure that your ad displays well and exactly where you want it to. So thanks for watching, guys. For any more tips and tricks like this, make sure to follow our channel, hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already so you can keep up with the latest content that we're posting and we'll catch you next time bye bye